I'm joined by a Mark Arnold. Uh, most of you know him uh, as a man who is always suited up, uh, doing his thing as uh, a business news reporter and also uh, an anchor. Today, there is another side of Mark Arnold that you probably uh, didn't know. How are you doing, my brother? What's up, Calvin? How are you? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so humbled to be here. Thank you for hosting me. Yeah. I'm uh, Jam 101. This is something that I've always dreamed of being on. Whenever I see you on TV, I'm like, man my other side really needs to get in touch with this side of calvin so i think this is a pleasure and thank you for hosting me okay. yeah. now singing is it something is it a calling is it something that you've always wanted to do because the way i mean the kind of work you do as a, a news anchor uh you're supposed to dress a certain kind of way uh and i think that is uh because of society it's society dictating you know that but in my world i don't follow what society dictates you know i set my own rules on how i'm living my life and what i love what i like about the fact that you're pursuing your music is you've refused to be limited to be uh, controlled but what uh, the society uh, would want you to do you know entirely okay that's yes in as much as you are doing your news anchoring your news reporting you know uh, you're still pursuing your other goals how, how, how has this been fitting in now I must really say one it's it's difficult you know before you actually find yourself and also just like you said with the public perception most times we use public perceptions to shape who we are yeah but i'm also like you on the inside and i'm trying to bring it out on the outside you know there are times when you're given a talent and you cannot put it to waste yes there's a bible verse that says that, that, that speaks of a parable of the five of the talents yes there was a man that was given five talents he went and brought back five and he was given everything plus more there was a man that brought uh three was given three and then brought two and then was given more the one that brought one and brought back the, the same the same one it was taken away from him so that's the same way i now understood i should treat my talent yeah if i've been given these gifts if i can sing I should really do an effort to put it out there yeah if i've been given the you know the platform to anchor news to 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 to, to do business reporting then i should do it yeah but the question goes back down to how do you plan your time how do you strategize and you know put everything out together because at the end of the day you must do everything you're doing well you can't do one thing good and then do the other thing haphazardly so i would like to say i pride myself in being a good news reporter uh, a learning news anchor but also a very passionate and talented musician mm. I love the fact that you believe in yourself and uh, uh, you're doing what you're doing, you know, 100%. Now, you have a new song. Uh, I was lucky to have seen it while it was even still, uh, you know, in the initial stages of editing, the, the rough, uh, you know, cut of it. Yeah. Uh, what was the idea behind this and uh, why did you choose on this particular topic? Now, the project is called COVID-19. Basically, what we are passing through during this pandemic the effects of COVID-19. I collaborated on this project with a friend of mine called Kamara, but something unique I would like to tap into about this project is the new opportunities COVID-19 has actually presented us. Beyond just the pandemic, us as creative artists, it's given us the ability to think out of the box and collaborate in ways we never thought we would. So I met Kamala, Kamara last year at the Power Arts and Music Festival at Pearl of Africa. We were both on the managing team and we were running the thing, running the Poor Arts and Music Night. However, we didn't get a chance to perform together because we were managing the event. So we talked about being uh, in a collab doing a collaboration project, but we never got to do it. So before we know it, COVID-19 kicks in and lockdown is imposed on us. So Kamara is in Kasese, Fort Porto. He gets trapped in, I think, Fort Porto, but along the way he moves to Kasese and i'm in uganda so i've met kamara i last met kamara last year so he sends me a beat he's like bro uh i'm working on this project so when i listen to what his verse has to say i'm like wow i must really jump on this 
So I tell him, send me the beat, re-record your verses from the studio in uh, Kasese. I'll record my verses from over this side. I'm a producer, by the way. I produce my own music. I didn't know that bit. That's news to my ears. Mix. I'm a mixing engineer, and then I have uh, Ron Lutwama who masters my music. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so he sent me his vocals. I laid them down. I used Studio One and Fruity Loops and, yeah, and Reason. Yeah. So I laid the vocals, I laid the verses, I mixed the project. It took me about, I think, two weeks yeah. to put it down. I sent it in for mastering to Ron. Ron mastered it when he released it, made an album art, and then released it online. Yeah. Yes. Uh, All right. So, um, what is that? This, the song is titled COVID-19. All right. Without further ado, I've always wanted to use that word. Eh? <laughs> word by the way, that's my word. <laughs> now I just, uh, you know, uh, jacked it from you. Uh, let's uh, check this out. Uh, this is. Uh, COVID-19. It's a new one from uh, my boy uh, right here. Let's go. It is wise that we temporarily remove these constitutional points in the interest of our people's health. So you wanna go out for some beer and tequila? Please be careful, COVID-19 is a killer. And I know your lover wants to take you for dinner. Please be careful, COVID-19 is a killer. Please be careful, COVID-19 is a killer And I know your lover wants to take you to dinner Please be careful, COVID-19 I give you something oh, Quarantine your distance, I got you Monday to Sunday The way we can no virus in Kambwe The Nukira Yari January Abiri Twali tukolanga tulimobu bimbi Gave bula ya nche china Evile yoka seninga kaise china na Nali mwebuze Naja na soma soma Nazula tiyama wanga gegaise Ufuba nisobu wa iro wabu tuwa wile Makana gwe zabu ze That's what I'm saying now So you wanna go out for some beer and tequila Please be careful COVID-19 is a killer And I know your lover wants to take you for dinner Please be careful COVID-19 is a killer Please be careful COVID-19 is a killer And I know your lover wants to take you to dinner Please be careful COVID-19 is a killer Global pandemic causing masses to panic We got the world in tears, superpowers in fear C-O-V-I-D, not H-I-V Infiltrating many places, living people in pain Reminiscing of the name 1918 flew from Spain Wash your hands thoroughly clean with soap and water Keep on washed hands away from your face You don't wanna touch your soap parts in this case Keep a distance of at least six feet apart You don't wanna be six feet deep in the dark Stay home and stay safe, keep away from trouble Don't let them catch you, the virus or the LDU Cause if they see you, you could end up in the ICU Rest in peace to all the people we've lost The fight is still on but it will be won However, the plight's different for some African states There's a whole lot of people People that are hardly addressed I'm talking families in a sorry state Living those crops How do you maintain distance If you live in a one or two room house Deep in a slum How do you wash hands without clean water or soap Can you not have a penny as to go to the shop How do you work when your work depends entirely on Face to face interaction Away from your home And for people with jobs that can be home based How do you work when electricity is inadequate Never mind the internet Cause that's another quest Ah, uh, yeah so you wanna go out for some beer and tequila? Please be careful, COVID-19 is a killer. And I know your lover wants to take you for dinner. Please be careful, COVID-19 is a killer. Please be careful, COVID-19 is a killer. And I know your lover wants to take you to dinner. Please be careful, COVID-19 is a killer. For some beer and tequila, COVID-19 is a killer. For dinner. COVID-19 is a... Mark, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Calvin, the entertainer. I'm right here with the uh, Mark Arnold. He's not anchoring. He's talking music today. The brother produces and also sings, you know. Uh, and this is quite impressive that uh, you picked on a topic uh, which is of public interest. And uh, I guess people relate with uh, the message that uh, you, you're putting across it's you are alongside Kamara. So, how did you put the video together now that your colleague, whom you worked with on this project, was in Kasese while you were in Kampala? 
So Kamara shot his scenes in Kasese and sent me the raw footage still. I also shot my scenes from within Kampala and I put everything together. Then of course, the advent of, of, of the new media, the internet, you're not lost for ideas. Now there's a way you can put music together using stock footage and also perhaps, you know, this footage we shoot around. So the fact that I work at UBC, I'm definitely in access to uh, raw footage of COVID-19 effects. So I got some of those clips, put them there. And then I got some raw footage, some stock footage from Bedevil. There's a site where they give you stock footage at a fee. So I have an account and you can download various topics that can kind of merge your concept. Yes. So I merged the concept with stock footage, uh, raw footage I had, and then our performing scenes. But till up to now, I and Kamara have not met. But the song is playing in Kasese, the song is playing in Fort Porto. And it's about to start playing here in Kampala. And that just shows you that as long as you can find someone that you can sync with as far as your, your, your talent is concerned, it doesn't matter where they are. Yeah? You can collaborate. Yeah? And COVID-19, it took us the lockdowns to realize that we, ha we, could, we had these, um, these resources before us to put them together. Yes. And, yeah. And, 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 and I believe that I believe that the artist of today has more than they actually need. All you need to produce your music is is a laptop, yeah, a microphone, perhaps with a sound card, and uh, and and maybe headphones. If you don't, if you can't afford studio monitors, use your headphones. Learn how to mix a simple setup, and you can record high quality vocals. As we wrap up your interview, uh, what are the final remarks? How can people access your music? Uh, I mean, there's always been like, I mean, for every artist when they come on this platform, they would want the public to know where they can find their music, uh, how they can build that fan base uh, as artists, you know. Uh, I'll tell you this, uh, the fact that I, I'm a news anchor, a business reporter and musician, I had to split the two personalities one way or another online. So my music, you'll find it at Mark Arnold UG. Wherever you, when you type in Mark Arnold UG, you'll find my music. That's on YouTube. You'll find me on Twitter and you'll find me on Facebook. Right now, I'm predominantly using Facebook actually as my platform for most of my music because I'm not really going in for the YouTube views for pay for now. For now, I don't want to get paid. I don't mind not getting paid, but I know there's going to be a time when I get paid for now. Yeah, I'm still building ground. Let people enjoy the music for now, you know, without necessarily having, you know, I don't want to force you, check this link out, check this link out, because I know there's an end benefit for me. Yeah, but yes, Mark Arnold, UG Music, and that's where you find my music. One word of inspiration to the young people out there that watch you as a news anchor. What has kept you going? I've been seeing you. Uh, since since 2016, uh, 17? 17. Yes, yes. Mm. What has always been your motivation and uh, what has always uh, kept you uh, going in your major forte? Now, my motivation, I'll say number one is God. You know, when you put God first in everything you do, He will have you covered in all rounds of your life. Maybe your family, maybe your career, maybe your everything. God will cover you, yeah. Despite you not seeing what you do. But second, when it comes down to us, I want us or the youth to have that mentality of I'm unstoppable. Yes, I'm unstoppable, and don't care what other people say, because no one above you will criticize you. Yeah, it's only the people below you that will criticize you. Yeah, so as long as you have that then do your thing and enjoy it there you go thank you so much mark arnold for coming through he is unstoppable and i am a fireball okay <laughs> unstoppable i'm telling you let's go back into some music right now when we get back we shall be wrapping up i guess up a cool you shall wrap it up with uh, your shout out still jam 101 let's go